Gordon rode his bike at 15 miles per hour to go get his car. He then drove back at 45 miles per hour. If the entire trip took him eight hours, how far away was his car? Let's start by setting up a diagram, just like we did in the last section, so that we can visualize what's going on. First, since Gordon rides his bike to go get his car, let's start by making an arrow going to the right to represent the distance that he bikes, or db. From there, he picks up his car and drives back. So we make an arrow going to the left that represents the distance that he drives, or dd. You can see from the picture that these two distances are equal. So we can set up an equation that reads the distance that he bikes, or db, equals the distance that he drives, dd. Now let's set up a chart based on our old formula, rate times time equals distance. Down the left side, we have biking and driving. Now let's fill out the chart. Gordon's rate biking is 15 miles per hour. His rate driving is 45 miles per hour. Be careful with the time column. We know that his total time is 8 hours, but we don't know how long he spent biking and how long he spent driving. But since the total is 8 hours, we can represent the parts as x and 8 minus x. So his distance biking would then be 15 times x, or 15x, and his distance driving would be 45 times 8 minus x, or 45 parentheses 8 minus x. Remember from our diagram that the two distances are equal. So our equation reads 15x equals 45 times parentheses 8 minus x. Solving from here, we get x equals 6. Now let's look at what the question is asking. How far away was his car? In other words, how far did he have to bike to get to his car? So what was his distance biking? Well, if we look at our chart, distance biking is represented by 15x. Since we know that x equals 6, his distance biking is then 15 times 6, or 90 miles. So we know his car was 90 miles away.